Hi, I'm meteorologist Rob Cook with you on Weather Nation, covering an in-depth look more at uh, northeast storms, uh, nor'easters as they're known by. And, of course, we're dealing with one moving across areas of New England and parts of the Mid-Atlantic. Well, we're going to talk about how these systems form by definition. We're also going to talk about uh, historically how many we see each year, and the number may actually surprise you. It is astonishing. But in the works, we've got the cool air coming into this low-pressure trough. We've got the warm conveyor belt of air along the jet stream riding right over the top of the Gulf Stream, which is that warm puddle or pool of air that circulates through the Atlantic Ocean. So by definition, a nor'easter is officially, it's a mid-latitude or extratropical cyclone that tracks along the U.S. East Coast or the Atlantic Seaboard. Uh, the name of it uh, comes from the fact that the wind direction in those coastal communities impacted by the storm is from the Northeast, thus the term nor'easter. No other reason why I picked up that name besides that. Uh, typically, we'll see these occur between the months of September and April. It can start as late as October, uh, but we'll always go to typically around April. And they usually do develop over the Gulf Stream, origin originating around Georgia and up towards the New Jersey coast. Now, in an average year, in an average year, there can be as many as 20 to 40 nor'easters in a year. That's an extremely high number. But of those, only about two to three actually become significantly severe. So that number, uh, thankfully, is quite low. So here's usually the ingredients that need to come together. You need to have the cold air coming out of parts of eastern Canada. You also need to have the Labrador Current coming in from the north. And then you have the Gulf Stream meeting up. Cold air, warm air. Respy is in the water. Well, that cold air, warm air starts to develop a low-pressure system, just like our latest system forms off the Carolina coast and then makes its way to the northeast uh, very quickly. And on its left side, we see very heavy rainfall. Sometimes if the air is cold enough, it'll be snow, very windy conditions. The worst weather tends to be on the west side of the storm and within about 100 to 50 to 300 miles to the west of that track. So again, this latest system moving on through is certainly going to be having an impact in the northeast. That Gulf Stream still with water temperatures easily above 70 degrees well offshore from the U.S. East Coast. I'm Rob Cook.